revealed through Jesus and through you and me. Through the church. We cannot see the kingdom of God or we cannot see God's love until we, we see it in youth. Until we see it through the church. Until we saw the love of God revealed in Christ Jesus, we never knew we were loved. Many of us thought we were a cast, were a reject, were alienated, were sinners, were lost out of God. We never knew we were, we knew we were judged, we were condemned, we were uh, never to see God because we had sinned. But thanks be to God. God revealed his love through Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Bible Amen. says in John chapter 3, verse 16, for God is so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son. That whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? Shall be saved. Or shall be loved. Amen. You see, when you, you are saved, you are loved. Amen. Oh. Amen. 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 Why should you be excited when your husband says, I love you? And when God says, I love you, don't be excited. Ah, wow. God says, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even, even you don't say nothing, just <laughs> And when your husband says, I love you. <laughs> you get hilarious and, no, 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 no. God so loved the world. Yes, yes, yes. He saved you because he loved you. Yes. 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 So salvation is God's love to man. Yes. So when you accept salvation, you're accepting God's love. Yes. So I want to talk about the kingdom of God. Last Friday we finished knowing that God brought mm. us into his kingdom. Amen. I want to know where is his kingdom? The kingdom of God is found in his love, which is Christ Jesus. Amen? So turn with me in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6. I want to begin there in the Old Testament, and then I'll bring in the New Testament. Uh, one person will open Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. Another one open. Uh, Matthew 22, another one open the first John 4. Okay. So the friend has 6 5. Who has uh, Matthew 22? Are, you, are we together? Yes. If you're here, say, I'm here. I'm here. Hallelujah. 22, read, you read by 35, 37, and uh, 38. 37, 38. 37, 38. And then it passes John 4. You read for me, pass 4, 8, and, and 16. First John? Yes, the pieces of John 1. First piece of John 4, 8, and 16. I'm doing it the same time so that I can uh, explain what the Lord has in my Holy Ghost. Amen. Who is it? Okay, begin, Mr. Brother. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind and heart and with your entire being and with all your might. You shall love the Lord your God with what? All. All your heart. Heart, all you are. Soul. And all you oh, oh, oh. Please, 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 please. You are going to read us. You shall love the Lord your God with. All. all right. And. All right. And. All right. and these three things make you who you are the heart, the soul, the body. Amen. The might, the strength is the body, the physical body. The spirit, the heart is the spirit. <coughs> the soul is your intellect. Your being, your 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 your, your, your uh, where your emotions are, where your 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 intellect is, where your 
you are taking capability, your engine for what makes this body to work is nothing happened to you without going into your soul. Your soul is the best for which either God uses or the devil uses. Amen. So I'm talking about the kingdom of love is that we know God is love. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and which means there are two kingdoms. The kingdom of love and the kingdom of hate. Amen. The kingdom of holiness, the kingdom of righteousness, the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of Satan with the kingdom of sin, the kingdom of unrighteousness, and the holiness, and the God let, name it all. Say it all. No. There are two kingdoms. Yeah. The issue is which one do you belong to? Which one do you live in? Which one guides you? Which one works with you? your heart? Which one works with your soul? Which one works with your body more than the other? So you ca we can identify, we can know whose kingdom you belong to without saying nothing. Amen. Amen. Right. Because we know the kingdom of God is the kingdom of love. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to see the kingdom of love is not about itself. The kingdom of love is a kingdom of others. Right. Yeah. 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 The kingdom of love is a kingdom of giving, yeah. not of holding. Yeah. It's not of taking, it's of giving. Amen. So I said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. Is your heart completely sold out for God? Is your heart passionate about God? You know, once you're passionate of something, there's nothing else you think about. There's nothing else that you do. But that which your heart is about. What you're passionate about. And today, in the name of Jesus Christ, brother, if you want to see God work things for you, you better sell out your heart to Him. Amen. You better give your heart to Him. And number one is being saved. Amen. Number two is being following His direction leading. Doing what He likes. Amen. What He loves. Amen. The Bible says, Your will or your heart is where your treasure is. Yeah. Where are you, where, 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 what is your treasure this morning? If your treasure is not God, your heart cannot be for God. If your heart is not, your treasure is not God and His salvation and His life, His nature, His attitude, rather His attributes, His character, your heart can never be there with Him. And that's why we find in the church, in the midst of the church, so-called people of God's heart, hurt others as were told. As well as our sister's testimony. She was offended, hurt by the people in the church who are supposed to be loving her. And I know there are many of us here who have been affected in the same way. I remember many years ago, several years ago, uh, when my own leadership turned against me. People have raised, people who are sons and daughters, have laid hands and prayed for. Wow. They turned against me because I refused to do what they wanted to. Uh -huh. <laughs> my own leaders. Wow. I laid hands. I fasted for you. I prayed for you. I give my life for you. And you turn against me. Wow. <laughs> when bribery, some gangsters and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, corrupt officers to come and kill him. 
people you pray for, people you lay hands for, people you fast for, people you travail, you believe God is God, we prosper them, we bless them, but they turn against you. That's business from God. That's right. And these are not these are people speaking at that time. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go cast out devils. Right, I'm telling you, the devil won't stop to use you because you cast out devils. Actually, he won't use you more than the heathen. Yeah, yeah. When he can get an opportunity to use a born again believer, a Christian, to him is a big deal. Because he knows he's defeating God. Yeah. <coughs> How? What's in your heart? What's in your heart? Do you love God? The Bible says God gave Himself. Some of us even don't want to give ourselves to God. He gave himself for you. If you love him, why can you respond to him? He reveals his kingdom desire. He reveals the kingdom will that he gave his own begotten son. The Bible says God became flesh. We beheld him in the glory through Christ Jesus. It was God walking in the flesh on the earth. But the moment you don't be passionate to His will, you are really putting back the cross. You are rejecting Him. You are killing, you are killing His love for you. You are oppressing Him. You are denying Him. You are telling Him, I don't need you. I don't want you. I belong to another kingdom. I rather be with the devil rather than you. Hello? 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 Hallelujah. 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 What's in your heart? Check your heart right now. What's in your heart? Some of you are bleeding. Right now as I speak. In your heart. The heart that should be praising the Lord. The heart that should be glorified God. Why? If you are coming to the kingdom. The kingdom of love. The kingdom of care. The king of protection. The kingdom of sharing. The king of exchanging gifts. Some of us. Come on. Our heart changes when we see some challenging or better giftings in one another. Come on. All right, come on. Hello? If you have the heart of God, yes. the Spirit of God, why should you be jealousy or envious of my brother, my sister, when she can do something better than you? Amen. Look at our brother. See that can That is a gift in the house. Yeah. We need that gift. Yeah. Why? Because we love him. Yeah. He has no competition. Right. Why should I be scared of him? Right. I should be the one uh-huh. But you can't do it. Yeah. And you see if they are doing it, manufacturing, <laughs> one day it's on, one day it's off, one day it's on, one day it's off. And you don't, you don't want someone who can do it better to be there and do it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's not the heart of love. Right. It's the heart of meanness. Yeah. In the heart of self centeredness yeah. yeah. In the heart that was found 
with the guilt, with the iniquity in it, with the spirit of Lucifer. For the Bible says, and sin was found in his heart. Yes. Hello? Amen. What can we find in your heart? Love? Check your heart again. Love? Oh, iniquity. You know, we know how to speak good here. Smile. I call that crocodile smile. When you're acting to bite me. I pray that God can give you uh, uh, what? insight, discernment, so that you don't go across that crocodile. Yeah. 